Hi, my name is Andrea and today I'm sharing a really easy and delicious recipe for a no-bake Hershey pie. And as always, I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by making our cream cheese layer. And I just added eight ounces of softened cream cheese to my bowl. And now I'm adding in some powdered sugar. It's really important to let that cream cheese soften. I normally let mine soften overnight. I've never had a problem with it. And next you're gonna use a hand mixer and just mix it all together. And now I'm gonna add in my vanilla. I'm using a clear vanilla, totally a personal preference. If you don't want your uh, cream cheese tinted, you can use regular vanilla and that's just fine. Give it another mix. Just gonna get in there with my spoon and stir it up a little bit. And now I'm just gonna fold in the Cool Whip. For the cream cheese layer, I'm using the extra creamy Cool Whip. Now you could just use regular or the original and that's fine. I just wanted that cream cheese layer just to be a little bit creamier. And you're just gonna fold it in and get everything all incorporated. And next you're gonna put that cream cheese filling into your chocolate graham cracker crust. Okay, so I wanted to be transparent with you all. This is how much of that cream cheese filling I have left in the bowl, which is about half. So when I originally was looking at the recipe, I thought that adding an entire container of the Cool Whip was gonna be a bit much, and it is. So if I were you, and probably the next time that I make this, I would probably only add half of that container of Cool Whip because there's no way that all of this can fit into that pie um, pan. But I am going to pop this into the refrigerator, as the recipe says, and uh, let it chill while I'm making that chocolate layer portion. Next, you're gonna take your Hershey bars, break them up into even pieces, and place the pieces in a microwave-safe bowl. And next, you're gonna microwave the chocolate in 30 sec second increments until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so I ended up microwaving my chocolate for one minute exactly, and it looks perfect. So now I'm going to add in my Cool Whip. So the recipe says to add the entire eight ounces of Cool Whip. Mm, after the cream cheese uh, layer uh, experience, I'm not quite sure if I need an entire eight ounces. So I'm just gonna add about half and give it a stir. Okay, so I did end up using the entire tub of Cool Whip um, for the chocolate layer. I still don't think you need that much for the cream cheese layer, unless you're making two pies. I mean, there are so many, there's so much filling in this pie, it could easily spread to two pies, no problem. But as you can see, I'm just layering in that chocolate and I've got it all spread out. And this is how much chocolate I have left. I'm afraid to add the rest of it because I'm afraid that the lid won't go on it. So I'm gonna leave it just like that and then I'm gonna recover it, cover it, excuse me, and refrigerate it for several hours until it sets up. Okay, so here is the pie. I had it in the fridge for several hours. And as you can see, I garnished it with a little bit of whipped topping and some chocolate syrup. I'm gonna cut a slice so you all can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so here is the pie. As you can see, I cut out a slice and it's set up nicely. That chocolate layer is so nice and chocolatey. And then the cream cheese layer is delicious as well. And here it is on the plate. Um, I really enjoy this pie. I would make the modifications that I mentioned to you earlier, but this is a really delicious pie. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy desserts that I will link in the description box. And if you haven't joined our YouTube family, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.